What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFlex, and I'm back here with another video. And today, I'm gonna talk about day six of training camp. Real quick, I will be streaming on Twitch at right after I upload this video. Probably not right after, maybe right after, I don't know. But like, at least in 30 minutes after I upload this video, I will be streaming on Twitch, Mad 19. So check that out. If y'all haven't already checked out my Twitch, the link is in the description below. I'll be streaming soon after I upload this video, all right? Now, without further ado, let's get to it. So, you know. This practice was a good practice, another good practice. I think every practice is good, okay? I don't know how it, it could be a bad practice. I mean, like, even if our offense plays bad and our defense plays good, is that, is that bad practice? Or vice versa, if our defense plays good and our offense... Oh, wait, 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 I said last time. No, 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 whatever. Well, you know what I'm talking about. If, if one of the sides of the ball is played bad, okay, then... What am I supposed to say is a bad practice? It's always a good practice, I think. You know, I I, I don't think there is a thing as a bad practice. You're just getting better, you know? You, you cannot be too judgmental. I try to tell people, you cannot be too judgmental of practice, okay? I halfway don't even like talking about practice, but these videos, y'all support these videos a lot. A lot of likes on these videos, a lot of comments, so I, I do it anyway, but I kind of don't even really like, like talk about it because it's just practice at the end of the day. I don't want to get nobody's hopes down or hopes up. But anyways, let's just get into it. So I just really talk about the big stories, and today nothing crazy really happened. The best player on today's practice was Kiko Alonso. He got a pick six on Ryan Tannehill. Also, Kenya Drake fumbled at the goal line. It was a lot of red zone work today, and the offense did terrible in the red zone. The defense played well in the red zone. Also, Mika Fitzpatrick got some first team snaps. Uh, he got he got a tackle out there. You actually heard Mika Fitzpatrick's name, so it seemed like he's breaking out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he's not starting yet, but he's breaking out a little bit, man. Like I said, he got a lot of competition out there at safety, so it's hard for him, especially at the defensive back uh, position. He's uh, Right now, he's a backup slot corner, so he's backup to Bobby McCain, I guess, in the slot. You know what I'm saying? Bobby McCain is a great, great slot corner. Uh, and when he goes to free safety or, or strong safety even, Rashad Jones is a great, great safety, and TJ McDonald's a great safety. So it's just so hard for Megan Fitzpatrick to fit in there. And But once he does, he's going to be a beast because, you know, he's talented enough to do it. But I don't want y'all to think that Megan Fitzpatrick is, is terrible or, or playing terrible. You know, obviously he has to do more, but uh, it, it's, not, it's not his fault. I'm, I'm pretty much saying it's not his fault. Frank Gore had a 15-yard touchdown run. Frank Gore continues. I, I think honestly, Frank Gore is gonna be second string you now. I was thinking, and I, and I said this in a video pri previously that I don't think he's gonna be doing nothing. I thought you know he's old. You know he's gonna take 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 it off. I actually do think he might be a big part of his offense now. Even before when they said when 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 there was a website, I forgot what website said that Frank Gore was gonna have to play like he has always played for the Miami Dolphins to make the playoffs. I was like, why would he have to do that? We're not gonna probably be using him like that. But I actually think he's gonna be ha being a big part of his offense now. Uh, talk about the injuries real quick. Uh, Juwan James is injured, AJ Derby is injured, Isaiah Ford is injured, and Jake Brenthal is injured. But the good news is none of them injured seriously, so it's not that serious, it's not that big of a deal. But there was about to be a big injury today, okay? And this is what this is the bad news right here. But it ain't bad, but it is it's, it's kind of bad. So Cameron Wake was rushing, you know what I'm saying? And you know nobody can block Cameron Wake, so gets through. Now I don't know exactly what happened in this situation, but Cameron Wake put pressure on Ryan Tannehill Ryan Tannehill ends up on the ground, and Ryan Tannehill ends up injured. Now, Ryan Tannehill wasn't seriously injured. That's the good news. But every time Ryan Tannehill goes down, it's going to be like some people. So your heart going to skip a beat, all right? So everybody was panicking for a little bit, okay? Because it ended up being just a cleat to the shin, is what Adam Gates said. But, you know, everybody going to be in panic mode. He got up slow, walking slowly, you know. It's like, oh, my God, please, God, love, you know. But he was all right, and he ended up doing 707s. He's all right. He's fine, perfectly fine. But Cameron Wake, be careful, bro. Be careful. But, yeah, other than that, man, not a lot of big news out of practice today. You know, just another day in the trenches. Anyways, get in the conversation. Let me know what you guys think of day six of Miami Dolphins training camp. I'm about to go play Madden 19. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll the six count the way. Boy, K Flex, and I'm out. I know I want it for the crystal many times, but I knew this moment would come. Now it's my time. I gotta make up for all them nights that my mama cried. I'm going in. I'm putting.